Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, Tech Lead and Partner at Westport. And today I'm talking about Craft CMS, why we switched our entire company's CMS offering from WordPress a long, long time ago into October CMS and finally into Craft CMS. I'm giving you guys three reasons why we selected Craft CMS, some of the logic behind it, and some of the reasons why we picked this framework. Now, before I go on, you might be a potential client of ours, you might be an existing client of ours, you could be a software developer who's looking for options. And what I wanna do is just give you some perspective around these frameworks and these CMS. And then some of the reasons as a professional tech lead why we decided to go with these things. Now, um, just for some insight, Westfall does not do um, CMSs as our main line of business. We are usually approached by existing clients who ask us to build a database-driven website and then they have a CMS that they might want us to refurb or they might want us to take over because they like what we did with their current system. And then we have to make a decision about doing a CMS. Now, some ideas, uh, some perspective about the CMS market. First of all, CMSs, there are lots of these platforms around, lots of different types, lots of different brands, lots of different systems. And it's a very difficult choice to pick the correct one. And usually a lot of the market goes with WordPress because of a few reasons. And one of the big ones is that it's free, it's open source, but also it's been a well-known brand name. But we did that a long time ago and uh, I remember how I got involved in WordPress was that basically we had a simple website and then a client said, hey, I needed some information. And it was kind of strange for a software company to have only a basic one pager. So we put in a WordPress in that. The only reason was didn't have much time to do the research, didn't have much time to go in depth into the software, I needed something quick and that's what we end up, up with. And then many years later, we changed that. We ran into some issues and we needed something lighter and that was October CMS. And then finally, we switched again because October CMS had some drawbacks, had some problems with the coding. I didn't like that. So finally, we arrived on Craft CMS. So Craft CMS is something that I've been quite happy about. We rolled it out in about late 2020. And usually I will give you guys an announcement only when something is a little bit more permanent. And I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to give you the three reasons why we selected Craft CMS and how you can apply that to your uh, selection of your software. Now, the first reason that I selected Craft CMS was the templating engine. Now, I have a video about not using a template engine, but when it comes to a CMS, right, you want something that splits the code out, okay? Um, one of the big reasons why a template engine is good for a CMS like this is that we are not really working a lot with the code. We are doing a lot about the design and the presentation layer, and this allows a team to actually go in there and make those design changes without affecting the rest of the code. So actually this functions similar to uh, a back-end front-end structure. And if you look at Craft CMS, it uses the Twig templating engine. Now, when it comes to knowing how to code everything from the background, yes, it is probably better if they're all PHP. But if you are delivering something like a CMS where the client doesn't want to spend too much money and they don't want to, to have extensive amounts of functionality, then you need some way to change this stuff very quickly. And if you look at Craft, well, one thing I really like is that they put the entire template engine into its own folder. It is completely separate from the rest of the application and it runs using a database backend. So this allows you to make all the changes you want, do whatever you want, and you will not disrupt anything to do with the code. You don't even have to know how it works. So it pulls out, this special object called entry, and then populates it using the template engine. WordPress, you know, does not do that. It works on hooks. It's very difficult to change that. Everything has to be a plugin that's built. It's not suitable. Very, very difficult to do designs onto it. Not really synergetic with, you know, a lean speed um, CMS engine. 
October, on the other hand, has a similar idea with the template engine, except I don't like the way the logic's been created in the back end on the top of the um, file. Basically, it's a PHP, but merged together in the top section with code. Didn't really like it uh, when you had it, had to expand the functionality. It started to get into a lot of trouble where you had to actually add PHP code, but not really in PHP, it had to be processed. So this caused a lot of problems, uh, middle end and long end. So that's one of the big reasons why we shifted over to Craft. The second reason is that Craft is database driven uh, website. It's runs a database from the behind and it's powered by P, uh, E2 framework. Now I have flipped and flopped about having something with a database on it and I think I've made peace that we do need a database engine behind a website sooner or later. The reason is that we switched to October CMS a couple years ago because I wanted a flat file system. I thought a lot of the clients just needed simple websites changing certain stuff and a flat file with no database is more suitable. But what would happen, right, is that first, um, there is an issue about uh, expanding on this. Without the database, you don't have the sorting power, you don't have the ability to do lists that are powerfully done. Everything has to be done in a file method. So as companies expanded, they had trouble. Second issue about that is that the split of what is client data and what is framework system is not um, not siloed enough. That's, that's, it's too close to each other. So meaning that if you had a database site and a design uh, with a front end or a middleware, this can be customi customized for the site and this can be done by the developer. With, that, with the two being merged together, that line gets very blurred. So we always talk about backend, front end, all that kind of stuff, but actually the database is the backend. And this made it very simple. If teams were working on this, right? I, they would not have to download the entire database to work on it. Um, take for example, a blogging system. They could just work with one or two blog posts as a template, as, as some data population, and then apply that functionality to a very big amount of database later on. They wouldn't have to download everything. You couldn't do this with a flat file system and we found that weakness going forward. The only question was how do you integrate backend, you know, say things unique to a website and the front end design. And I find Craft CMS has a very unique way of doing it using these fields and sections and uh, little d data buckets that you put things in. And this is very, very useful for uh, splitting the code. So I felt that that's really, really a unique way of working on uh, a project. And this takes me to our final issue, which is point three, which is a system that links uh, backend developers with the client side who does content. So another issue that creeps up, which is, you know, you have a client who has their own team who want to do the content management, they want to write in stuff. And you have a team of developers who want to work on the functionality at the site. And you have a uh, backend system, right, that allows you to control certain aspects. Now, it is the deep, you just go in there and then you will see there's some text that has been changed. Uh, so, I mean, what is nice about it is having this just all set up nicely so that you can go in there and the clients can actually work with the information. They've got things like, uh, you know, conditional taxes, uh, lists that can be built in. So uh, this is that thing I said about actually working with the client side to give them some power on the content rather than like October CMS where you're actually trying to discourage them from uh, accessing it and you want the developer. Developers preference that no one access that admin control. They prefer no one to touch that. But it is also the uh, client side, which is they want more control. So having that synergy balance between the two is very, very critical. I find WordPress, like either it's too much control to the client or not enough control. 
and everything has to be done through going into a hook and changing it. October CMS had the complete uh, opposite of this. The user base was not really suited for the users, the clients. They couldn't really uh, change anything very much. Or if they changed it, they had a chance to break a lot of things. But Craft CMS with its very unique feel stuff, it's not perfect, but it has a great layout, great backend that is really fast and able to do. But also the amount of changes that you could do, the, the developer could set little fields that could be changed, just the content, the major part of it, and then the clients could go into that and change it. So I feel that this is something that we, uh, has a very good synergy with the client. It's got a really nice backend that's very usable. And this is really beneficial. You don't have to spend too much time thinking. If you look at a WordPress site, you know they have tons of um, fields on the left-hand side, whereas the craft is so much more cleaner. You can just change the whole thing. Very, very nice to do that. So I think this is very interesting. Then that's the bottom line because Tech Lead said so.